story of the triumphant Etna Carr Cougars football team premiered on Hulu this week in the five-part docu-series Algiers America. It's an intimate look into the lives of some of the team's players and how their beloved head coach Bryce Brown serves as both a mentor and guide on and off the field. Now, the series is directed by former WWL TV photographer Jackson Fager, who after spending many years working in conflict zones, learned these players were fighting battles in their own communities. We spoke about his time documenting those battles and how Coach Brown remained on the front lines. The Atnikar Cougars start their practice with a workout inside the weight room that has produced state champions. Head coach Bryce Brown stands close by as he has for the past 17 years, nine of them as Carr's head football coach. How you going to build yourself into that call man that we all strive to be? Leading the team to win four state championships in a row, the only predominantly African-American public school in the country to do so. That class is done. My, my vision and my focus is on 2023. Right now. You've already moved on. Yeah, I'm sitting here talking to you right now, and I'm right. thinking about the schedule for after, for after <laughs> school. Cougars! The wins and losses don't mean anything to me. The championship reigns mean nothing to me. My whole purpose is to try to give these kids an avenue through sports to make it out. And it's that thinking that puts this high school football coach ahead of the rest and got the attention of director Jackson Fager. He is the most genuine person I've ever met. He has a huge heart. He cares deeply about these kids and the love that he shows to all of them. They feel. Um, I think more than anything, that's what makes him so special. We have to give them greatness. We have to instill that love will be on display in a five-part docu series called Algiers America, airing on Hulu. The Car Cougars are going for a fifth consecutive state championship. It not only shows the grind and grit of the championship-winning team, but allows the players to tell their own story and shows a bond between a coach and his players. Man, it's hard to think about that. The investment that you have in these young men goes beyond just being their coach. It goes beyond giving them tough talk. Can you talk about why that investment or that type of investment is so important? Well, I think if you look at it, entirely they are investing their time with us too right so we need to reciprocate that in order for them to feel like number one we're not just using them for athletic purposes and number two we care about them not only why they're here but when they leave here and for many of the players when they do leave they do very big things but to make it to that level, Coach Bryce and his staff are in a year-round battle. Was shot to death in the Algiers neighborhood of... For some of his players to simply make it out of their own neighborhoods. Shortly afterwards, he realized his nephew, Talet Tonka George, had been targeted. George, an Edna Carr alum, was a recent graduate of Alcorn State, where he was a football star. Former star quarterback Talet Tonka George was one of those players who did make it out, graduating from Alcorn State University in 2016. He returned to his neighborhood in Algiers soon after and was murdered that same year. So anytime we lose a kid, we always going to take the grunt of the, the hit because are we doing enough? Are we preaching enough? Are we teaching enough? Are we, are we reaching enough? That is, that's the questions that run through my mind all day. The impact of his death would be felt through the entire football program and would ultimately lead to change in how Brown coaches on the field and mentors off. I want you to keep traveling, keep competing with all of I want you to be able to show that you're listening and you could correct the stuff that you did wrong this past weekend. When the player leaves this building, we're not in control. What, what, we, what we must do, what we will do is keep reaching them so they can understand what left going mean, what it really means, what it, what it really looks like. And I'll be the first one to tell you, we're not batting a thousand, right? We've lost some kids. I don't want to release no balloons for no funerals. I want to release the balloons when they graduate, when they go to college. But what are we doing to keep that, that steering wheel going right? 
What are we doing to prevent the bad decision making? He loves talking about other things that have nothing to do with COVID. Jackson spent the last three years documenting what they're doing and why it's working. He returned to New Orleans to reveal the battle these players face on and off the field after spending several years in conflict zones himself as a bureau chief in Africa for Vice News. Through all my years of covering conflicts, one thing that always stood out to me is that everywhere I went, there were always people who were standing up and fighting for their community, fighting for their people. Sometime it could turn, it, 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 sometime, right, right. sometime it get hot. Sometime yeah, yeah, it get hot. Sure. Yeah. But um, that, that surprised me from day one, and I loved that about him. Over the last three years, I've witnessed something truly beautiful. Just watching what all of these people have gone through, all of this adversity, and to wake up and decide to be the good people they are, and to succeed at the level they do, leaves me hopeful. For Coach Brown, the docuseries is merely a glimpse into how they maintain that hope year-round for each wave of students who play for his team. Let's look at these kids and let's see how they're being saved. Even through some of the adverse situations they've been in, maybe those kids can give another kid who's going through the same thing that come from the same type neighborhood that come from the same family type situation. Maybe he could give them hope. You can watch episodes one and two of Algiers America right now on Hulu.